Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. Welcome back to another episode. This is Soul Six today, I believe, and we are we're going to head into space today. Let's uh, let's get started, shall we? We've got a lot to do. Uh, the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure that everything is working okay uh, in the base, and I believe it is at the moment. If we have a look down, the drill is still digging down into our hole, so that's good. Let's just have a quick check and see how that's doing. We can go down and look at our piston. So piston one is at 10 meters. That's good, I believe. Uh, we've got piston three now, which is at 10 meters. Uh, piston four is on its way down. So that's going down at the moment. So uh, currently at 1.8. So that will continue to go down. We know that that's correct in terms of piston size. So it just means we've got to do piston two last. That's fine. But this is currently at 1.9 meters. So that's good. Uh, that means that we are going to be... And you can see that hole now is really starting to get deep. So a really cool pit that we're building out now. And we'll glass all of this out later. We'll put some lights down here. We'll even build a shaft going down so we'll be able to get down there if we need to do any work on the drill or anything like that. But right now, that is just uh, working away uh, and doing a great job. So let's just have a quick look inside our inventory. So one of the things we're going to be able to do here is look at how much stone we've got in a large base. So... 75k stone here, which is nice. Another 42k here in the small cargo box. So that's 150k we've got. And cobalt at the moment in the refinery. So we've got a lot of cobalt. Uh, more than we actually need right now. So I think we can probably take the cobalt out. And put some stone in instead. And we can take the cobalt out there. If we just swap that over, it will push the stone through before the cobalt. It always takes from left to right. Uh, we can take out some of this gravel if we need to as well. We've got a lot of gravel here we don't need because we're not using that. All right, so. Very clean, very simple, very easy. Uh, if we go to the control panel, we can have a look at our survival kit too. Just rename that because it's just survival kit. Uh, we've got all of our speed modules. Now, these can all be hidden because we don't need them. So we don't need to show them in the terminal. They can be hidden. Um, everything else that we've got here is good. Uh, we don't really need to see the wind turbines. We know they're all working, so that's all good. So we'll take all of the wind turbines out of the terminal. We don't even need to see the survival kit in the terminal, to be honest. Um, this, uh, we can we can look at it and what we want to do with it, but we don't we don't need to. Spawn name is. Uh, base HQ. Alright, and we'll turn that off of there. All good. Uh, we don't even need this in the inventory system at the moment because we're not using it in the inventory system, so we can turn that off as well. So we're just cleaning up now, getting rid of all the things we don't need. In terms of production, we're not making anything at the moment. We've got the assembler and the survival kit, um, but there's nothing being made at the moment, so that's fine. In terms of inventory, we've got enough here. We're just going to clean this up just a little bit. Looking good so far. We've got a lot of a uh, lot of stuff here. We're we're all good. Uh, just moving the resources out of the way, so we've got all of this. And as you can see, even if we go into the assembler now, and the assembler doesn't really have much uh, much going on at the moment. It's empty, and um, so we could start moving some of this stuff down. But there we go. We've got. Raw material at the end here, gravel which is worthless. Other material that we can use, including cobalt. And then we've got all of our components here, which we've got a considerable amount of. And we just add those to that, and then that's it, all done. So nice and clean, all tidied up, everything where it needs to be, uh, which is fantastic at the moment. Uh, there's not really much else. These are the main components we use, including that. Um, there's the heavy ones, these are the other things. So. Yeah, I, I mean, we've got we've got everything we need on this base. This base is a really good position right now. Uh, we know that we're getting a lot of stone in at the moment. We're converting that stone, so that's great as well. So again, nothing else we really need to do here. The refinery, uh, concealed amount of uh, iron here. So I guess we could make, just so we're making something, we can make like another... Uh, I guess we can go ahead and make like another... Let's make another thousand steel plates just so we've got them. Uh, so that will be done. All right. So that's good. Now what we need to do is go out in our ship. Because if you remember yesterday's we, 
as we ended yesterday's episode. Uh, we were unfortunately unable to use the thrusters. And so what we need to do is we need to now go and get some ice. So we're going to check this is empty, which it is. And we're going to take off. So to do that, we're going to change the battery to be auto and we're going to undock. And now what we're doing is we're looking for ice. Now we know we've got ice, it's over here. So we're going to head in this general direction. We're going to get some ice and we're going to turn that into hydrogen in the ship. We only have to put the ice in because remember the ship that we've got has the H2O2 uh, generator on it. And that will be able to turn uh, that into hydrogen which will then power up the ship. So that's what we're going to do. So we're just going to come down here now and we're just going to look for this ice. That's all we're after. So not quite sure where the ice is. If we can get a little bit closer to the ground and then hopefully it will pop up. Okay, there's the magnesium. There's the silicon. Now we know there's ice here somewhere because we saw it. We don't actually know where about. So we need to... There it is, ice. That is what we're after. So it's quite deep. We're going to have to go work down towards it. So we're going to dig down. Again, so, so easy to be able to use this ship now to be able to dig down. Tulling on our way. We'll tunnel down to the ice. There we go. We've just found it. So that's great. Now, rather than just grabbing this, we're quickly going to clear out an area. Do a bit of a circle here. And this is just going to make it a lot easier for us to move up. Perfect. Alright. So, looking at the ice now. Trying to keep as level as we can as we do this. We'll go for as much ice as we can get. We'll fill up. Trying to make sure we are keeping the ship upright. This is basically going to get us into space. So there we go, we're at about 45 at the moment. Uh, we did get a bit of stone out of this, so we can take all of the stone that we got. And we can drop it. Stone obviously being pretty worthless to us at the moment, given the fact that we're making so much of it. Uh, we actually got a lot of magnesium. Oh, so we're actually getting magnesium at the moment. We're not even getting ice. This is not even ice. It's just magnesium. So we didn't even get down to the ice vein. Uh, I saw this was blue and I just assumed. But we actually... There we go. That's the ice. The ice actually looks different. If you look, it's very, very similar very similar. Let me just uh, come back so you can see this. So the ice has this kind of... There you go. Look, you can see the, the, the big difference there. So that was my mistake. So let's... Uh, clear a little bit more space. Uh, now we're going to have to get some of this ice. Maybe even leave some of the magnesium behind. Let's have a look and see what we've got, shall we? A little bit of stone there. We'll take that out. Even take out a little bit of magnesium. We'll just dump those out and get rid of them. We've got 7k of ice. I think we might need a little bit more, to be fair. All right, and then what we're going to do, we're actually going to head up again. So straight up here. We're 25 meters down, but we are underneath the ice. 
And then what we're going to do, we're going to set a new marker. So we're going to go to GPS. We'll take out the ice from here. And we'll put a new marker in and we'll call this ice because it's slightly offset from the other marker. And all we're going to do is head straight out. We're pretty much going to go straight up at this point. It is quite a way down to be fair. Alright, nice and slow. Now we'll have a better route of access to get in. Alright, so the ship is out. Let's head back to base. Now we're very heavy, which means we are actually going to be struggling to get our speed up. And we're going to struggle to slow down, so we're going to take it nice and easy. Our little mining ship here. We haven't put any bodywork on this, we haven't done anything to it, we've just kept it as pure components. So that is something in the future if we wanted to, we can just clean it up a little bit, put some bodywork on it, make it look a lot nicer. Uh, we're actually slowing down at the moment. Uh, just coming in nice and easy. Okay, we're going to lock on here. Yep, handles this really well, so the weight not a problem anymore. Holding on to 50,000 uh, kilograms, and it seems to be quite decent. So let's, uh, let's just line ourselves up with where we need to go. Okay, now we're lined up. We can just make sure we come down ever so gently. Make sure we're not going to hit. Perfect. Just back onto here. And having this kind of landing pad here does make it nice and easy. And we're on. Okay, so locked and batteries charged. Out we get. Now we're going to head down here. We do need to grab that ice. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, get as much of the ice as we can out of here. And we're going to run across to our ship that we left on the floor that we kind of half blew up. Now all we need to do is put enough in this ship to get us up onto that dock. That is our plan here. And then we've got to go back and take this back and repair it because we, we obviously did some damage to it. I don't know what we blew up. It is upside down. Maybe we didn't blow anything up, but it is upside down. So let's, uh, let's jump in. We're going to put the ice across here. Oh, we can't actually put the ice across because it's not connected. Oh, maybe that's what we blew up. Okay. Let's... Um, we want to put the ice... Ah. Huh. Oh, because we have no power. Right, of course. So we'll put it in the connector. Um, the only reason it's not working is because we turned the power off. So if I turn the power on now, I should Okay. So the ice is in the generator, so that is that ice is now generating. As you can see, it's going to be going down. And this is going to be powering up the hydrogen tanks now. So you'll watch this, 788 at the moment. 762, so it's going down. That means it's going to, and you can see we're starting to get some now. Now, one of the things that we're going to struggle to do at the moment is flip this ship over, which is what we need to do. Um, for that, we don't quite have enough uh, frost at the moment. So we're just going to have to wait a little bit. If we have a look in the control panel, we have a look at the uh, frosters. Do 
These are all turned on, but there's just nothing in them at the moment. The hydrogen tanks right now don't have anything in them. So what we're going to do, we're going to turn all the hydrogen frosters at the moment that we've got. We're going to turn them all off. Uh, we'll create a block and we'll call this uh, Hydro Frost. We'll save that. These ones we're going to call um, Atmo Thrust. We've got both of those saved. Uh, we've got the battery. Got the gyroscope. Got the connector in the cockpit. Perfect, that's everything there. So also we're going to have these two backward thrusts. Same as before, we're going to call these um, brake. Uh, we've got the cane, uh, cargo. We've got a landing gear. O2 generator. Or detector set to 50. Perfect. And then we've got the hydrogen tank. So now this is filled, you can see this one's got like 7.5% so they're filling up which is great. So now that they're filling up, we can press G, come across to our groups and we're going to have our atmosphere thrust, turn on and off, our hydrogen thrust, turn on and off, and our brakes, turn on and off. We should now, hopefully, I'm just going to save this. But we should be able to turn on our, there we go, and we can turn off, and we can spin around. There we go, look at that, so we've managed to do it. Now let's see if we can get back with our ship. So we've managed to use these to turn around, and these are going to be quite powerful. So all we're trying to do at this stage is just dock. There we go, we're now docked, because we're docked. Uh, we're actually going to need to... Oh, that was the wrong button. Didn't want to press that. Alright, so now what we're going to do, we're going to press G for groups. We're going to go to all blocks. We're going to grab the connector. And we're going to do the same thing we did before. So we're going to switch lock on a connector. And then we've got the battery. So we're going to change that to recharge on and off. Exactly the same as we did before. So we press 8 and then 9. And then we press 2. Alright, so we've turned off the hydrogen. So we're now saving hydrogen. That's done. We're connected to this dot top port now. So we're going to be charging the battery up, which is on recharge. And also, what we can do now is we've got all of this ice that is in the dock drill. We can pull that all the way through into here. Very easy now to grab all of that ice that we got and pull it through. The only problem is we didn't actually grab enough ice. So this, uh, let's have a look. This generator is actually full at the moment. So we can bring all of this down into the connector. But the connector is actually full now. We don't have a drill on this ship. We can't drop it into the hydrogen tanks because it doesn't actually work. And that's because the hydrogen tanks are connected up. So what we can do in the control panel... The hydrogen tanks, there is no point in having these showing up in the inventory screen because they're useless. But we can see them here because this is where it shows that they're filled. So if we look on the inventory, uh, they, they it shows up as available space, but we can't put anything inside them. But if we look here on the control panel, we can see they're filled this way. So they're now filled or getting filled anyway. So these are all at the same. So if we do this, we can group all of these as uh, hydro tanks. And we can't actually see, but we can turn on auto refill if we want to. We can stockpile, which means if we do that, tanks will not get drained. So if we want to just, uh, the same way we store up the batteries, we can do that here. So in the group, we can have a toggle for stockpile if we need it. But that's the hydro tanks that are there. So uh, we can keep an eye on these. See that these are filling up, which is good. And now what we need to do is just work on the naming of this ship. 
So we can call this uh, spaceship because that's, I guess, technically what it is. And now we can go and we can name everything here as spaceship. So we know we've got miner, spaceship, etc., etc. So anything that's white refers to the ship we're currently on. Spaceship dock connector. The gyroscope for it. And we have all of these hydrogen thrusters. We're just, again, just going through this renaming at the moment. Because as we get more ships, we're going to know, well, what what thruster is that? Is that the thruster of the miner or of the spaceship or of the rocket? So, again, just having, having this labeling does make it a bit easier. A little bit of prep work here. It's all good. We're charging up anyway, so there's not much we can do at the moment whilst we're waiting for the ship to charge. It's a good use of time. The landing gear as well. The O2 generator, the ore detector. And then we've got the small hydrogen tank. Now at 25%. So we're going to keep filling them up. What we'll do is we'll go out and get some more ice because I have a feeling we're going to need that. So they're the hydro tanks. That's it. Right, we'll leave that. Uh, we could rename that if we wanted to, but then it will create two. So we'll have to delete the old one. Nice. Very clean. Very simple. The extractor, we can ignore. That's something else. There, the miner. So now we can see, look. We've got two sets of brakes now. We've got spaceship brakes and minor brakes, but we can very easily see between them, which is why I think it's so important to have this labeling uh, set up. This is going to be extractor. Uh, that's just the, that's the base. So that'll be base assembler. That'll be the base battery. That'll be the base camera. I wish you could have folders and I wish you could nest, nest things. So you can have like top, you can have like a top level and then sub level. That would make life so much easier. I wish they would add that. It would be a great quality of life to the game, but it is what it is. It is what it is. This is the base drill or this is the extractor drill. Essentially, the uh, extractor camera. And the extractor hinge. And then we've got the pistons. Let's just do those. What we'll do, we just copy this. And then we can just come down and paste them in at the start here for each one. Checking this out. This one's at 8.6 now. We've got the base refinery. This is going to be the miner. And now everything should have its own name as to what it is. So everything starts in brackets with its own name so we know what everything is. And it's all nice and clean. All right, now we're going to have to get some more ice, I'm pretty sure. Let's just double check. Uh, no, we do have some ice still here. That is in the spaceship dock connector, so we've got some ice stored up in here, but I think we are going to need some more ice because... Oh, wow, look at that, the stone as well, almost full again. Picking up a lot of stone at the moment. Not really producing anything either at the moment. So, yeah, don't really know what we need to produce. But I think what we're going to do before we go anywhere or do anything is we're going to just jump out of here. And... We can't actually move. We're stuck. Huh. That's not good. We're wedged. Huh. We're actually stuck. 
So I think what we're going to have to do is... Uh, hmm. I think we're going to have to undock from here. Turn on those batteries. Maybe just spin it around ever so slightly. And then dock again. There we go. So now we... We seem to be stuck for some reason, and I don't know why, so we're actually just going to kill ourselves, the respawn. Which is not ideal, but we're going to figure out why we're stuck, and we'll fix that a bit later. We can just go back to our body now, which is just here. And we can grab everything that we had in our suit, which... Uh, if we dump out these parts, which were base level, we can just pick up these ones. That's all we had on us. Alright, so that was a bit weird, but it is what it is. We need to build another one of these. So let's do that before we go out, because I have a feeling, I have a feeling we're just about to use up all of us, all of our space here. So we're going to need to be able to put this down an interior plate. So we we'll just grab one of those, and then we're going to come up three to build this. Now we've got everything we need to build this, but when we do this, we're going to lose uh, for a moment the ability to do anything. So. Uh, let's just be careful with this. We're going to go one, two, three, and then we're going to stick it on there. So we're going to need to we're going to need to do this. All right, that's the three of them. That's good because now we can just grab all of these bits from here, and we can just put them straight into here, like so. And then what we're going to do is we're going to grab this next one that we had. And we're going to stick it on top here. And it will go, but we do need to... Uh, first of all, we need to just break this down. Okay, and then that should hopefully fit on there now. No, let's, uh, let's get rid of this because I think... I think it's getting caught on this. And let's just get rid of this one as well. So. Perfect. Okay, let's go and. Let me just find it. There it is. Now I'm hoping. Oh, I need interior plate to build it. It's fine, I can grab that from here. Oh no, it's not connected anymore, so I have to come down to here. I'm going to have to get all the bits from in here. Uh, there's the interior plate that I wanted. I just need to come up the top. And I should hopefully be able to place this. I can. Fantastic. So now I just need to build this. Now building it should be quite simple. Um... Although what I'm going to do here is, I don't really want to build it there. So I'm going to build it like this. And then if I spin this around, I can put that up here. I can put one up there. And now I can get to this. And I can say this is what I want to build. And I can get all the bits from here and I don't even have to move. So again, this is kind of the, the key right now, is to try and make things as simple as I can. Just filling up. Grabbing all the bits I need. Mainly just these plates at the moment, which we've almost, we've, we know we've got enough of. Okay, working on to the construction components. Okay, working on to those steel pipes, metal grids. Excellent. Small steel tubes. And it's built. You can get up to 100%. Now we can remove this because we no longer need it. And now we have these two both connected up to that tube. 
So now we've just doubled our storage capacity, which should be absolutely fine now. Um, because we have our large cargo container. We have our, our base cargo container. So now if we have a look at this and we go to base um, cargo container, so base large cargo box. So this is going to be base um, cargo bottom. Then we find a new one. And we're going to call this one base cargo top. Easy. And now everything is working. So the small cargo box is there. We've got the, the, the bottom cargo box here. And we've now got the top cargo box here as well. So they're both together. So we've got additional storage, which we're currently filling up with all of this stone. As you can see, that one's nearly full up with stone. Stone alone and nothing else. So this will be a good opportunity for us to look through and see what we've got and what we need. So we don't have any interior plates. So why don't we go into production and we'll just make ourselves like a thousand interior plates. So we've got some of those. We could probably use some more motors. So we can go into production and we can make ourselves some motors. So we'll make like a thousand motors. Computers, we'll do the same thing again. We'll make like a thousand computers. And we're just going to make sure and we're going to do the same for everything. We're going to make sure we've got like a thousand of everything. At least in terms of the core components we need. Construction components. Because these are all the main things that we're going to need, right? Everything else, not as important. Uh, metal grids. I guess we can make ourselves like 100 metal grids. Uh, we can make ourselves like another 50 of these tubes. So now at least we're making stuff. Which is going to use up a lot of that stone. A lot of those resources that we've got. And we're just trying to do this. Because we're going to be out and, and, and going into to space... It kind of makes sense while we're out and about that this is all going to be uh, happening in the background. So that's going to give us a lot of stuff to start with, which is great. Um, there's some other things that we're going to want to make. So one of those things, if we go into production, is going to be these bulletproof glass. We're going to want, I don't know, a couple of thousand of those. That's going to take silicon. So now we've got all of this stuff processing. That's actually completely full. This one's... Oh my god, we're, near, we're going to be filling up the second one as well. with stone. We've got so much stone. Uh, but that refinery is going to be working uh, really hard to, to clear all that. Uh, we've got the base drill, which has got magnesium in it as well for the moment. That's good. That's good. Alright, I mean, we're... We kind of got this in the refinery at the moment. There's not really much else we can do about that unless we move it. As long as the stone's in front, that'll work. That's all in the miner ship. We need to get some more ice. We do have some here. Let's check this out. So if we go to the control panel... Have a look at our spaceship hydro tank. That's all at 100% now. So that's all good. So that's all done to 100%. So that's fantastic. So now we want just a little bit extra of ice that we can take with us into space. So that's full, which is good. Um, but in this spaceship, we've got all this stone as well. We don't really want this stone. We don't really have much ice like as a backup. So it might be a good idea for us to take some additional um, some additional out with us. Because we're at 100% at the moment. We've got a bit left over, but not much. So for the purpose of this test, we're going we're gonna to run with that. We're not going to take any more out at the moment. Uh, we're, we're good to go. We're good to go. We've kind of finished everything up here. So the only other thing we need to do now... The only other thing we need to do now is we need to build, and I think we're going to build this in the middle here. We need to build like a, a tower. This is going to be like a control tower. Um, and then we're going to have all our habitation and everything. So we're going to have um, excavator pit here on its own with nothing else. 
Uh, we're going to take out all of this on this this ramp going up to the top. We'll take all of that out. Uh, we'll even move the survival kit eventually. We don't want that anymore. And this will just be the excavator pit. We'll get rid of all of this on top here. We'll get rid of all of this. Excavator pit will work into storage. Storage will go into assembly. Assembly into refinery. And then here. Over this side. We're going to put like our, our housing. Our habitation. And then we'll put another. I think on the other side of the mining pit. I think on the other side. We're going to put another tower. So we're going to have our two turbines. We'll put another one just equally on the other side. With wind turbines all around it. So then we'll have two towers, either side of the extractor pit. We'll have all of our production and assembly. And we'll house all of this, so we'll put all of this into a big warehouse. Obviously we'll have the connector coming out onto the top, which will be a landing pad. And then that will come down into habitation. And we won't actually need to come down onto the planet at all. We can, but we won't need to. Alright, so still a lot to build out and a lot to do. For now, however, all of these temporary structures that we've got, which... I know aren't ideal, um, but we need to, we kind of need to build up at the moment, so, um, right, let's do this, so we're going to come up here, this is going to be just a block, this is going to be a ramp, with another ramp here, and that should get us on to here. Which is all we needed. And that should hopefully get us into... If I can find it. I don't think we're tall enough. I think maybe we still need to be a little bit taller. Yet yeah, we can't actually see the cockpit. There it is. Oh no, we fell off. That's not ideal. Again, we're going to build all of this out. This is only temporary right now. Just while we start to build it all out. Once it's all built... There we go. Oh, we actually got in and then we got back out again. So that was a mistake. And now we're stuck again like it was before. Um, so we're actually going to have to... Okay, so there's a, a real problem there. We're going to have to fix that. That's just something else we're going to have to to work on. Again, just going to drop these tools because we don't want them. These are like the basic standard tools that you seem to spawn with every time. We'll grab the bits there. Don't need those, we'll get rid of that. And maybe we just need a better way to do this. <laughs> kind of hoping we would have got in there that time. We, we're really struggling to, uh, to get into this ship at the moment. Let's, uh, let's not mess about. Let's do it a different way. We'll come back down, get some more of those uh, plates. Quite a few of them now. We just continue to build up. I don't think we can build here. Nope, so we're going to have to build on the side. But I think given where the, uh, the entrance of the ship is, we're better off building on this side. We'll do that there. Now we can jump up here. There we go, so we can jump up here. This is not ideal. Oh. Alright, won't well, let us build that. Okay, so. Again, gonna try this. A bit of parkour. Right, all we're trying to do here is jump into that ship. Oh, there we go, we're in now. Right, we finally got in. We finally got in. All right, we're ready to go. So, the way that we're going to do this, we've got our normal uh, thrusters on so we can go up. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we've got our battery. We've got 15 minutes of battery, which again is not ideal, but it's enough for us to get out, hopefully. So we're going to turn off our... Um, we should have been on recharge. If we were on recharge before, that would have recharged a lot quicker. It would have been like five or six minutes to recharge. You can see we're only at 23% battery, but we're at 100% hydrogen in the bottom right. So we also want to make sure we don't have anything in our ship with us 
at the moment the spaceship cockpit has a load of stone in it. We actually want to remove that. It's quite important that we get rid of all of this stuff that's going to weigh us down. We actually don't want any of this. So in this spaceship cargo. So if we go inventory, we can go search, we can go spaceship. We can see all the stuff we've got here. We can come across to our base cargo. Dump all that out. There we go. Now we've only got our ice that we need. Alright, and that is still processing. So we're good to go. Let's uh, let's head off. So we're going to disconnect or detach by pressing 8. Oh, we didn't turn our battery on. And we're just going to go straight up. At this stage, we are just going to go straight up. Nothing else. And that is what these thrusters are for. These thrusters are going to get us out of this initial atmosphere. So... We're going to see how high we can go here. Our little spaceship. We haven't done any decorations to it yet. We haven't put anything on it at this stage. It is just a base ship with just the things that we need. Starting to see a bit of the curvature here. And all, all of this space, we can go and explore any of this if we wanted to. Again, just heading up, heading straight up. Oh, we can turn everything off so we can see a bit better, get a much better view. If we want to put it back on, you can. 6,000 meters up now, we can see. Looking at our speed and what our speed is, and we can also see, if you look at the thrusters, if you look at the white emission on the thrusters, it's actually a lot less than it was now. We're at 60 meters a second. We're actually slowing down now. And so because we're slowing down, we're still going up, but we're slowing down. And in a minute, we're actually just going to start falling because we're up as high as we can go. So we're going to keep going up to around about 8,000 meters thereabouts until that just starts to slow. And then we're going to turn on our hydrogen and we're going to go vertical. So there we go. We're stopping now. We're stopping. We're done. So now we're going to turn on... Oh, our thrusters are not turning on for some reason. Alright, so that's what we should have done. So, there we go. Now we're on. <laughs> now, we don't actually want all of these on at the moment. So, that's the other problem we've got here. If we go to all blocks, uh, we actually want to turn all of those off. We just want... No, we don't want all of these individual ones. We want groups. Um, actually, I did this wrong. One second. So we want forward thrusters. So there should be four forward, not up, not backwards. There we go. We've got one, two, three, four. Um, forward thrust. We'll put that in. All right, so we're going to save that. We're going to go back to our other block here. We're going to turn all of this off. So we're going to pr press 5 and turn all of those off. Go to group. Now we're going to have our forward thrust. So we're actually going to turn that on. And now we've only got this thrust on. Which is actually what we want. Make sure we're actually heading up. Okay, so that's what we wanted. Just these four at the moment. And as you can see, we're starting to climb again. We're at 91% hydrogen. So we don't want to burn too much hydrogen. So the problem before is we had all of them. We were, we were fighting against ourselves. We had the left, right, sideways. We were stabilizing. We just want to go up into space at the moment. So we use the thrusters to get out the basic atmosphere. The atmospheric thrusters. Once we get out of the atmosphere, we can just head straight up. And it's going to get easier because, as you can see now, the gravity is going to start to get less. So we're just going to keep heading on this trajectory at the moment. Uh, pretty much straight up from the base here. And you can see if we look down at the uh, right side of the toolbar, planet gravity is at 0.62. So we are leaving. We are leaving the Earth's orbit now. And if you look at the hydrogen, we're at 80%, which isn't great, but it isn't bad. And it will start to, we'll use less the higher we go. So the less gravity, the less hydrogen we're going to use. Um, if we were to try and do this, 
if we were to try and do this with all of the thrusters turned on and too much weight, we would burn all of our hydrogen. And if we didn't use the atmospheric thrusters, we would burn all of our hydrogen before we even left the planet. And by the way, speaking of the planet, you can see the ozone layer. Look at the curvature of the Earth now. This is looking absolutely stunning. What an incredible view as we, uh, as we start to head up towards space. Point four now. We're almost out of the planet's gravity. A little while to go. As you can see, nearly 20 kilometers above the, uh, the ground. You can see all of our signals that we've got there. And we're just going to keep going. We're at 100 meters a second. So the other thing we can do now is we can actually, if we're boosting at 100 meters a second, if we keep the boost on, we're actually burning fuel for no reason here. Because we can't go above. We can't go above this 100 meters a second. So what we could do now is actually, and I'm not going to do it right now, but what we can do is we can turn off. So there's something we can do here with these thrusters. In fact, if I go into... Um, if I go into G, go into groups, and I've got this forward thrust, I can actually, um, I can't do it on the screen here, uh, I can decrease thrust override or I can increase thrust override. Now, if I'm, if I'm doing this, I can choose how much thrust is going to come out of here. And I can choose it to the point where it's only putting out the amount of thrust we need to keep us around that so now I can keep my finger on W but I'm only putting out a certain amount of thrust and I can bring that down if I need to so I'm not putting out as much thrust now because I'm almost out of I'm almost out now as you can see that's going down so I need to put it up a little bit and I can just now I can hold down the W but I'm not at a hundred percent because before when I was at 100% and it was like this, and you could see all of that thrust coming out the back, I'm burning unnecessary fuel. So now I can limit how much fuel comes out the back. And again, that is going to preserve more hydrogen. So it's all about how do I preserve as much hydrogen as possible? And these are just little ways we can be efficient. And you want to keep this, I would say, between 90 and 100 meters a second, because then you're going up at a decent speed. And all we're going to do is we're going to turn it down when it gets to 99. It will slowly bring us back down to kind of 95. And then we'll just turn it up one notch. And you can see we're just pressing key 1 and key 2. We're at 4kn right now. If I put it up, we're at 9kn. And we can change how much this outputs. But right now we're at 0 0.014 planet gravity. So we are 30,000 meters above the ground. Pretty much directly above the base. And now you can start to see some asteroids. Some over there, some over there. So we've got some asteroids around us. Planet gravity is at 0.12, which means we are not quite out yet, but we are almost there. So we're going to keep going. And now, even on the, the minimal amount, if I disable, if you don't have this on the minimal amount, we're just burning, we're burning the least amount possible now. But there's just barely any gravity. So once we get into space, so look, if we look now, we're at 78% of our hydrogen. Now, the reason the hydrogen's going up is because we had some ice in our cargo. And that ice that is in our cargo... Now, we're still heading up. We don't need to do anything now. I don't need to press any keys or anything. I'm, I'm, I've got no hands on any keys. I am just using the basic amount of thrust uh, to continue to push us up. I can press I and have a look in here. And look, we've still got this in our... We've taken everything that was in the dock connector. And now we haven't got that much ice here in the generator. But it is burning this ice that we've got. So it's turning this ice. It's converting it. And it's trying to keep us... And we are just about out of gravity. Now I'm going to go to the info and call this uh, spaceship. Alright. So now we've got that new grid. There's not much left there. But we are almost, we are 0 0.07. 0 0.07. We are almost out. Almost out of gravity. Traveling at 100 meters a second. 
heading away from the planet. There's the planet there. There's the moon. You can see we're on the dark side at the moment. Wait for the sun to hit. And there's a big clump of asteroids here. Now as soon as we leave the, uh, the gravity, we can just stop. And we will just be suspended. Given the fact that there's no gravity to pull us back down. If we were to stop here, well, there's kind of a bit of gravity at the moment. So we're going to start migrating towards these. And hopefully, hopefully they'll be outside. Hopefully they'll be outside of the gravity well. It's going to be close. It is going to be close. We're at 0 0.05. We obviously don't want to hit anything. There we go, we're out. We're officially out. So now we're going to turn these off. They're off. Engines are off. We're travelling at 100 metres a second. And the reason we're travelling at 100 metres a second is because we're not slowing down because there's no gravity. There's nothing to pull us down. So we're not burning anything anymore. But we are moving. Now, if we wanted to turn these on, now we've turned them all on. Uh, we can turn off our space brakes if we wanted to. So let's just uh, let's just go and get ourselves set up. So what we really want here is atmosphere thrust. We're going to set that first. That's on and off. Then what we're going to want is the uh, forward thrust is going to be number two. Because we're going to want that on and off. Uh, for the forward thrust, we're also going to want to increase or decrease. I guess we should go decrease first and then increase. Okay, that's perfect. Then we can go, so forward thrust, we can go all hydro thrust at that point. Which will be here, toggle on and off. Space brakes, we can toggle on and off and then everything else is fine. And the only other thing we need is landing brakes, but we don't really need that uh, as a control. But if we wanted to put it in there, we can, and we can have switch lock, as normal. All right, so now, now we've got everything. So we can turn these on and off. There's no point having them on. Uh, we can turn off. That's our forward thrusters. So all of our thrusters are on right now. If we press 5, we turn all of our thrusters off. We press 5, and then 6. Because if we go forward, we're only pushing out 4 as well, by the way. So if we want to push out more, we can go. We can put these on full now. As you can see, that's really pushing out a lot. That's if we get into the point where we're having to fight against this. We're going to disable this. So now look, we're, we're using these. And we've turned off this because if I put these on, these are going to be our, our back. So if I go forward and then it stops us. So if I turn this off, now we're going to turn off our space brakes. And we are going to head towards this little cluster here. So remembering that 6 is effectively our space brake because now we're just traveling at 86 meters a second. Uh, but we won't stop. So if I want to stop, put on my space brakes, and it will just gradually bring me to a stop. All right. We're out. We're out into orbit. Now, what we've got here are all of these asteroids. It's a really good opportunity for us. We didn't put any lights on this ship. That was a, that was a bit of a mistake. We've only got our lights on our suit. But what we're going to do is we're going to head over to this rock. First and foremost, have a look at where the planet is. So the planet's just there. So we can reorientate ourselves on the planet. And look, we've got all of these amazing rocks here. The two days of battery, 86% of hydrogen left. So what we really want to do before we do anything else is just map out some of these asteroids. See if we can find anything here. We're going to get a little bit closer to this one, maybe first. There's obviously the big one here as well. We can head straight down for that big one. Kind of something on there. I can't see what that is because it's very dark at the moment. That's ice. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. We're just going to save this. That is, I mean, we couldn't ask for anything better than that. That is just, I don't think you're going to get this lucky this often. I really don't. The fact that we've just found ice. The first, the first thing we've looked at, and there it is, you can see the ice. So we are above the Earth right now, and we have just found an, 
abundance of ice, which is just incredible for us. So let's do this. Let's land right now. Let's land here. We're going to put our ship down. That's the first thing we're going to do. And we can lock off. So it's ready to lock. So we just head down. And there we go. We're actually locked onto the planet now. So or onto the asteroid. So we're locked onto this asteroid now. Which means if I was to save this. Now I don't know what's going to happen here. Because if I go out. I don't have a, I don't have a suit. Which means, and if I lift my helmet up, I'm going to start to die. But I can't move because I've got no jetpack. So, I guess there's two things we can do here, right? One is we can engineer the crap out of this to build anti-gravitational devices and rooms and things that allow us to move on these asteroids. And we can build a base here. But I kind of feel like we're at the point of the game now where we can enable jetpack. But I can't do that from this screen. So what I'm going to have to do, now I've just saved this. I'm going to have to, and again I've just saved it. I'm going to have to uh, exit to the main menu. Okay, we've saved the game, so we're okay. We're going to have to go to our games. We're going to have to go to load game. It was a new world that we were playing on. Oh, just loaded into that. That was a mistake. I mean, that is what we want to do, but not, not first. We need to, that was actually the wrong one. So we're going to exit out to the main menu, load game. We're going to go to backups. Uh, no, that's actually the wrong one. So we've got to find the right one. I think it was, hmm, when was this one last saved? Nope. Maybe it was in here, in this folder. Oh, here we are. This is the one. So this is the new world. So now, because we're in the right one in a new world, we're going to go to Edit Settings. And in Edit Settings, we can now go to Advanced. And we can change things. Now, we didn't change anything except for the welding speed and the grinding speed and the refinery speed. Everything else is realistic. So inventory size, character inventory is all realistic. And we're going to keep that as it is. We're not changing anything else. So everything else is standard except for this speed. And the only reason I put these speeds up uh, would was just so that you didn't have to watch me just grind for hours on end for no reason. So now we're going to scroll down to all these options. We're not going to change anything here. This is all a standard. We're not going to change anything. We are going to come down here and we're looking for jetpack. Enable jetpack. Now we're just going to turn that on. So everything's a standard except now we have a jetpack. And now if we go in, back to this world and we load it, we'll be exactly where we was, but with a jetpack. Which we did say we were going to do when we hit in, uh, space. And now that means when we go back down to the planet, we've now got jetpacks. So now... We should have a jetpack. And if I press X... Aha! I've now got a jetpack I can turn on. So now I can use this, which... I've missed this. I've really missed this. But that also means that we're going to need to uh, consider our hydrogen because we're going to be using up hydrogen here. And we don't actually have any hydrogen tanks on us. But we've got ice. And that means we can drill this ice. Bit different. Oh. Bit different to how it was before in the sense that now... Move everything across to here. Uh, this is just going to float until we uh, pick it up. We're going to just grab this. I'm back here. We can move all of this across. If we look at the ship, all of this now is going to come across into here, which is great. And that's going to continue. Uh, we can actually, I believe, we should be able to go to production. So if we get inside, we should be able to go to... No, there's no assemblers on this ship. Mm, okay, so we can't even make a, um, a hydrogen tank. Like we can't even make... So we don't have... We don't have a hydrogen tank on us, which means when we run out of hydrogen on our body, on our on our jetpack, we've got no we've got no backup. So we need to keep an eye on our jetpack. But uh, at the moment, that's good. We've got enough ice. We don't need much. 
We don't need much at all. All we're going to do is just keep moving this across. And look, that is just going to keep pushing that and keeping that at 100% now. So that is amazing. Having that ice, fantastic. Right, there's the uh, the earth, which is incredible. Now we can kind of look around. I think this is going to become... And we've got our drill, so we can see if there's anything else on this planet. We'll turn our lights on. Well, it's a bit lighter. So we can just kind of float around this little asteroid now. And we're going to see if we can find anything else. Is that more ice? Different ice, maybe? I think so. I think that's more ice. So I think this is just an asteroid that's full of ice. But we can look around and see if there's any other materials on here. That will be handy for us. Try not to kill ourselves. Now again, remember, once we, uh, once we run out of our jetpack, well, that's it. So now what we can consider, because this is this asteroid here, and that's the Earth, we can consider setting up a base on this asteroid. We've got the ability to do this now. We can kind of flatten this out a little bit if we wanted to. I mean, we can mine this down for stone. But if we just flatten this out a little bit, what we can do is we can actually build build a little base here. So we've got enough of these. Uh, we need to get some steel plates. Uh, we should actually, and I'll tell you what we didn't do, and this was a big mistake. Uh, we didn't have an antenna. We needed to put an antenna on our ship, and we did not do that. So <laughs> good luck in trying to find our ship. Now, I know it's on this asteroid, but we, that's a good lesson. We did not put an antenna on our ship. And so we don't actually know where our ship is at the moment. Oh, we can see the sun starting to come around. All right, let's, let's try and get back to the ship. We know it's on this asteroid. But technically, if we just start floating around this asteroid, we should find it. It's quite a big asteroid, though. There's a lot of space on here. Okay, just looking out for that ship. Trying to figure out where we put it. Actually have no clue. I believe we were closer towards looking at Earth. Earth is over there. Wow, we've we've actually lost ourselves. Can't find the ice either. Where's the ice gone? All right, let's get the drill out. We'll see if we can find that ice patch. It should show up on the... Uh, once you've got the drill out, it should show up. You can see it visually. There you go. There's some ice over there. So let's see. That's. I don't think that's the ice that we were... There was another ice patch, right? There's two of them. Is this all part of the same asteroid? Wow. There it is. Hey, we found it. We found our ship. Let's not do that again. Let's not leave our ship again. Let's not do that. Let's uh, let's stay with our ship. All right, we're going to put these steel plates in here. And what we're going to do is, this is such a great place. Uh, we're going to build a little base. We're going to build a little star base. So, trying to think about where we want to put it. Doesn't really matter to be honest, but we're going to put it down here. Now, there is no 
There is no gravity to align to. We can just free flow this and decide. Uh, we do want to kind of look down there, so that would be quite nice. So I think we're going to do it like that. Put it into this kind of free flow mode. And we're going to have it just here like so. There's the first one. And then the rest of these are going to snap into place. So we'll be able to go four down here. We can put six there. Have a little, little nine there. So just keep going. We'll build again into the asteroid this side. Looking good. And this is going to become like our little dock, our little station. And then we'll start to build back. What we're trying to do at the moment is we're going to establish a space station. Now, we were going to explore first. However, because we've been so fortunate and able to find ice, which is kind of what we need to be able to survive out here. Nothing else matters. If we've got ice, we can survive. Everything else is just a bonus. But because of this, we've, we've got the ability to build. We may as well set up ourselves a little space station. So what we're doing now is just putting these foundations down. And we'll come back and we'll build upon this. And then, once we've done that, we'll have a nice little base out here. Get one in there as well. Not going to get one in there, but that's okay. I will get one in here, I'm sure of it. Oh, I already got one in there. Nice! So there we go. There is our, uh, our platform, if you like. I think we can come out maybe a couple more here. Alright. Now because we're on here, we can actually run around on here. If we jump though, if we jump we're in trouble. We have to use a jetpack. But we can we can align to the gravity of the asteroid and we can walk around on the asteroid and we're fine. But as soon as we jump, because there's no gravity, we can't come back. So making sure we don't do that. Alright, well this looks amazing. Look, we've got this little viewport. We can look down on Earth. That looks amazing. We'll have to obviously do something with that one. We can get it out of the way. So now we've got to start thinking about, okay, well what are we going to build? And we, we're kind of going back to basics again now. So let's just remove all of this. And think about, well what do we need? Well, first thing we're going to need is a survival. We're going to need a survival kit out here so that we can survive. And then we've got a bit of a base. Then, once we've got that, we're going to need an assembler. I mean, that will do as a basic assembler in, in, to enable us to, to go and farm resources. So the survival kit's great to start with. But if we bring enough resources up with us, because we've got them all, we don't need to go and farm them all again. So what do we want? Well, we want to build an assembler, right? Well, do we want to build a base assembler and a base refinery? Or do we just go for the big, the big job and bring all the ingredients out? So we can just build an assembly. We don't need a basic one anymore. We can just build an assembler. And also, we can just build a refinery. We don't need a basic one. We can build a big one. We're also going to need some cargo. Uh, we can just build a big, large cargo container. Now, if we do this, if we build a survival kit, an assembler, a refinery, and a large cargo, we're going to need to port them. So we're going to have to figure out where it's all going to go. And that's kind of where we are right now, is, is figuring out here, where do we want everything? Where does it all live? Where does it all connect? How does it all look? So, if this is going to be forward-facing, looking at our base, we're probably going to want to have all of our resources and everything tucked away over here. Um, let's see. So, the refinery, I think, is going to go just here. It's a good little space for it. We'll connect that there. Uh, with the assembler, this time the assembler doesn't actually need to stand on its end. It can. We could just lay it down also. And the other cool thing about this is that it doesn't have to be right next to it. It can be here. So we're going to put that down because we're still going to want to put all of the attachments on it to make it faster. 
We're going to put that just there. That also does mean we need to bring a tube up for this. And then we're going to want this storage, right? Now, in terms of storage, storage can be done slightly differently this time. We can actually put the storage underneath. Just don't forget, we don't just have to worry about what's on top now. We can actually build underneath as well. But we're going to need an interior plate for that. So the way that we can do this is we can actually build that out underneath. And we can pipe up. We can actually pipe through here into here. So we've got all this piping. And then the storage is going to sit here just like this. We'll put that underneath here. And that's done. That's just one less thing we have to worry about. So we need to build this. We're going to need to build. If we put this here, we're going to need one, two, three, four armored sections. Okay. And then we can do the same here. Uh, we're going to need... Uh, Four armoured sections and then a pipe between the two. So four armoured sections and one pipe. Low. Right, our energy is low, so let's sort that out. All right. And then we're going to need the survival pit, uh, pod. Well, that's a nice easy one to fix up. We can actually just connect that as such, like that. So that's, that's how we can build a little starter base, a little starter base up here. And now what we need to do is head back to our ship. So because we're here and this is our space base, we're going to press, I go to the GPS and we're going to add new from current position and we're going to call this space, base, or um, yeah. And then this one we're going to call Earth, base. We can change the color of the earth base, we make it a bit more green if we wanted to, give it a bit more color, and because this one's space, we can give it a bit more, bit of a different vibe if we want to. So there we go, we've got our two colors there. Everything else, it just shows on a hub, but we don't need it at the moment. Oh, we can leave that there. Uh, that doesn't need to be always visible, so we're good. We've got everything we need. We've got our earth base. We've got our space base. Now we could just head out and have a little look around. Like we can go and check out this one if we want to and see if there's anything here. Got to bear in mind that we're running out of uh, energy. So we don't want to... Oh, what's that? Iron. All right. So trying to find out where the iron is. We did just see it. We know it's here somewhere. We're just trying to get a little bit closer to it though. There it is. Iron. Oh, look at that right there. Wow. Okay, so now we can press I. GPS. And this one we can go new from current position. We're going to call this Space Iron. Energy critical. Alright, and then we're going to head back. Where's our space base? No, that's our earth base. There it is, space base. All right, let's go back to our space base. Which is also where our ship is. There's the ship. All right, let's go and jump into our ship. Because once we do that, we'll recharge off the battery. So now we'll be able to recharge our suit and everything and get it all to 100%. Also, we've just replaced our hydrogen. So even though we don't have a, a tank on us... We're using that H2 generator to be able to refill our bottle that we've got, um, our, our hydrogen. So if we look at spaceship um, hydro tank, or not the hydro tank, sorry, the O2 detector, we've got refill bottle, auto refill. So that's good. So now we look at our inventory. We've got ice in here. Everything's full at 100%. We've got a little bit of stone as well. Um, we can't really do much with that because we haven't got a way to... Uh, to create at the moment, we need to be able to build a, a printer. So we are going to have to go back down. Uh, the other thing we can do at the moment, by the way, we're burning hydrogen for absolutely no reason right now. So we can just turn those off. And if we turn those off, we're going to stop burning through. So that's another thing that's quite important. All right, so now we're out again. Uh, there's our space iron that we found. 
So we're going to have a look on this little rock. Probably nothing on here, but we're going to check because you never know. It could be like uranium or we could find anything out here. So, oh wow, look, there's some iron here as well. Quite a bit of, little, quite a bit of iron here as well, look, which is nice. So this is different to the last patch we found, so we're going to add this as well. GPS from current position, we're going to call this space iron. Perfect. Now it's not always on the surface, like you might be able to look around while it's like this. You can see there, there's a patch of iron there, that's great. But it might not always be so obvious. And so you might have to, like, especially if you're on the dark side, you might have to come and look around, get a bit closer, see if you can pick up any of those signals. So we're going to come and have a look around here. And just seeing if we can pick anything up, pretty much like what we do on Earth. We're just having a look and finding what resources are here. We're mapping things out just to see if we can get a bit of a better idea. More iron? Wow, okay. More iron. I think this iron's hidden, though. Oh, no, there it is. So there's so much iron out here. This is crazy. This is good, because obviously we need iron. Iron's really good for us. Uh, but let's go and mark this one as well. Space iron. Now, it would be nice to find some other stuff. Obviously, if we can find other resources, then we don't have to keep going back down to Earth every time we need something. Also, if we've been somewhere and we can't find anything on it, we can also mark it out as empty. This one's quite big. Huge asteroid, but I don't think there's anything on it. We could build a little tunnel base in here. That could be pretty cool. Looking around again, we can't see anything on the surface. If there is anything on the surface, it will show up in a different color. Much easier to see. But sometimes, especially for some of the deeper stuff, it might not be so obvious. Things like uranium, you might find... Oh, there you go. There is something over here. Looks like more iron. It is more iron. We'll mark that out. At least by marking it, we know we've been here. You might also want to say empty if you find one that there's nothing on it. You want to kind of map everything out if you can help it. It just makes your life so much easier. Because you don't want to keep going to the same place and questioning. Have I been here? Have I looked at this? So we've been there, we've been there. I think we can just have a little look at these little clusters. Is that more iron? More iron. Okay, of course. Right, we just we just found like an abundance of iron and nothing else. All good. At least we know we're never going to run out of iron, and that's good. Sometimes, sometimes on asteroids you might get one or two. Um, not not like before where you would get like three of them on Earth. Sometimes you get one or two, but not always. Sometimes it's not as lucky. Well, there's a little like tunnel here we can go through. Pretty cool to explore. Yeah, we already found that iron. Check this little one out. Nothing really on there. We've already checked that one out because there's iron on that one. That's the space base over there. We checked that little one out. If we, we haven't, oh, there's iron on here. We've checked this one out. So we know we've been here. We know we've been over here.
But we know there's more iron on there. Does that... I think that was iron on this side as well though, right? I think there's iron on the other side of this. Yep, there is right there. That is yet another patch. So ice and iron in absolute abundance here. So this is going to become home. Nothing else really here. All right, so we finished looking around. Sun's coming up now as well. It's amazing. I'm rotating around, should I say? We'll use the sun just to have a look. What is that? Is that anything? Or was I mean no? Nothing there. There's a pretty cool little hole that I just found here. Like a little space cave. This could be cool. We could build in here, look. This could be cool. So we can we can label this as well as a um We'll call it space cave build location, question mark. We don't need to show that on the HUD, but we'll leave it there. It's not going to show up on the HUD, but we know that we, we've got it as a marker if we need it. So we've checked that one out. We've been over there. We've been over here. We've done this one. Done that one. There's nothing on it. All right. I think that's good. I think we can head back. We've we've definitely made some initial progress. Can't really see anything else at the moment. Unknown signals. There will be stuff in space. We haven't bumped into anybody yet, which is kind of good. All right, let's get back to that space base. Oh, look, there's more ice here. All right, let's mark that as another patch of space ice. Beautiful. Okay, so that's a really good start. That's a really good start. We've marked out loads of stuff. Um, all right, we haven't got much in terms of variety, but we have definitely found a lot of stuff, like a lot of iron. Oh, there's another one over there. I didn't even mark that one up, look. But we can see it now very clearly. We'll just grab that, mark that one up as well. Again, even though we don't need it, it just lets us know that we've been to this asteroid. And we can turn all these off so they don't overwhelm our heads up display. Just save the um, game. And another one. Wow, okay. I think that's it for now. Here's the little base we're building. Amazing. There's our ship. So, we've got everything we need. We've got enough ice. We can head back. So what we're going to do now is we're going to un undock or unlock it. Ready for takeoff. We're going to turn on our engines. 
and we're away. Right, we know where our space base is, which is pretty damn awesome. We've started to build out here now, which was unexpected. Like, I didn't think we'd do that that soon. Um, but that's pretty cool. We've got the, the foundations down at least. We know what we're going to need now to build. We've got ice, so we can live out here. So what we want to do now is we want to head back to our Earth base. So what we're going to do is turn on our thrusters. We'll turn off all of our engines and we're just going to turn on the back thrusters because that's all we need right now. And that way we'll be able to come straight back down towards our Earth base. And look at that. Look at that Earth. Doesn't it look magnificent? Daytime creeping around. And there we go. Our little space station. Our little cluster of asteroids. We haven't even been anywhere else. There's so many different clusters of asteroids we can go and visit. There's actual space stations. We can go and find NPCs. There's a lot we're going to explore and find. We definitely want to put some lights on the ship. That's going to be helpful for when we're in dark. But now, we're, look, we're back into gravity already. Back into gravity already. And the other thing, if we can get line of sight between the Earth base and the space base, if we can get line of sight, we can open up communications. And then we can actually start to build drones. And then we can have transport drones automatically ferrying backwards and forwards. Like, this is where it can start to get really fun. But we've successfully been out into space. We've now got our jump pack, uh, jet pack, which is amazing. We really wanted that. Um, but now we're heading back in. We've got gravity now, so we could actually turn this off and, and just use gravity. We would just fall back, naturally fall back to Earth now. Uh, it would be slow at this, sti at this stage. It would be slow. Uh, we can turn on the... How much we're using as well. We don't want to use too much. We are heading at a decent speed. So we could effectively turn this off now and not use these anymore. We want to turn off everything. There we go. So now because we're moving at 100 meters a second, we're just going to be heading down towards Earth. You can see we're heading down. Gravity is going to kick in now. Gravity is going to pull us down. We're going at 100, 100, 104 meters a second, actually. So we're using nothing at all except for the, the thrust that we got and our weight. And that will push us down. So we don't need to burn excess um, hydrogen at this stage. I mean, we've got enough, but we still want to be respectful of it. We're just going to try, whilst we're high up, we're going to try and position ourselves directly above. Because the last thing we want to do is, like, fly along. What a beautiful planet. There's another planet over there. There's a moon just there. There's another planet over there in the distance. I can see three planets there. Wow, look. One up there, another one behind it. One over there. So lots of lots of places to explore. We're going to need like a jump drive to be able to get there quicker. And that obviously is going to need a lot of fuel. So that's something else we're going to have to build. Looks like a good picture. We'll just take that picture. Good little screenshot for us. Still 104 meters a second. We're now at 0.2 in terms of gravity, only 25,000 meters up. As you can see, coming down quite quickly. And that gravity will kick in. But we're just still aiming towards our Earth base. Just kind of aiming this way at the moment. Okay, so now the only thing we need to think about is landing, which we know isn't going to be a problem, but we are going to burn a lot of hydrogen when we land. 
So we've got our vertical thrusters to bring us down. But our other thrusters, we're going to need to enable those to be able to get us on the ground. So just remembering what these are. This is our forward thrust. This is our hydro thrust. This is our brakes. So, so this is all thrusts. So I think what I might do, groups, is I might move forward thrust to here. Toggle on and off. And I might move all thrust to here. Toggle on and off. So I've got atmosphere thrust, hydrogen thrust. Easy. And then this is going to be forward and uh, brake. And then this is the up and down. So that's nice and easy for me to remember. Alright, here we do. Coming down. See the distance now between our signals that we made for our space base. Okay. So just 15 kilometers to go. We're going to start aiming past it. We want to make sure that we are coming down at a decent speed, not too fast. So we're going to put our uh, vertical thrusters on in a minute. Okay, we'll turn those on now. Now we're still too high at the moment. We're not really able to get anything out of them. You can see there's nothing coming out of those at the moment. But as we get lower, they will start to kick in. So we're almost in gravity. You see nothing coming out the bottom of these thrusters at the moment. But they'll start to. You'll start to see a little bit come out the bottom of those in just a sec. Still coming down. There you go. You see it now. Just on the bottom there. A little bit of that thrust starting to kick in. And that means we can use those now. If we press space, we can use it to kind of push us forward. There you go. You can just see if I use space. I'm getting a little bit of thrust now. It's good. That's what I wanted. So I can use this to kind of guide me back to where I want to go. Which is kind of here. And if I press that, because I'm tilting forward at this angle... By pressing space, what I'm doing here is I'm actually pushing myself forward. So just 4,000 meters now, not that far till we get down. We're going to start leveling off a little bit. Uh, this is the key not to crash. You can see our base. Almost down. And now we can kind of just level off. We're just using these thrusters, bringing us down nice and slowly. We're going to back off a little bit now. Right, there's our base. We can see the base. Alright, we're trying to get down so we're close enough. We can use these thrusters to bring us down. Now remember, we're not able to steer very well at the moment because we've only got one type of thruster. Which is this atmospheric thruster, which is using this battery power. So what we're trying to do at the moment is get close enough in. Like so. And then we can turn on our hydrogen and we can finish boosting ourselves in for the rest of the journey. Alright, so here we go. We're going to boost ourselves in there. We're going to be using up loads of hydrogen to do this. But this just brings us in that last little bit of the way. Nice and controlled. And we can get a decent landing. Now remember where we're trying to land... Trying to get this on top here.
And there we go, we're on. So now we're on, we can dock. Uh, we can turn everything off now, so turn all of our thrusters off because we're docked. We can turn it onto recharge, and we are down. We are down, we are locked. Um, we are recharging, so we are, we are good to go. That's it, ladies and gentlemen, we've been to space. We've been to space, and now because of that, we've got a jetpack. Because that was the agreement. I can turn it off by pressing X. And that means that now I just don't need... I just don't need any of this anymore. It can all go. Because if we need to get anywhere, we can just fly there. Perfect. Amazing. We've done a really, really good job so far. Let's... Uh, Let's get rid of all of this now, because we don't need any of this. This is all additional stuff we don't need. So, uh, this. All the way along here. You can go. This. You can go. This can go. This can now go. Which also means this can go. Okay, now we are going to be filling up our inventory, so that's fine. We can get rid of that. I quite like having the roof on there, though, so I might just keep that bit. This can go. Making some big changes. I do quite like that roof on there, I'm not going to lie, I might just keep that as it is. I quite, I quite like having that as a little ramp under there, it looks quite good. Um, but up here, we can come to here as well. Oh. And that is... Alright, that's everything we need there, done. Just this one, we'll just take this one off. So jetpack fuel is critical, and that's because we don't really have much of it, so... We need to be able to recharge, and we can't do that at the moment because we don't have any... Uh, any ability to do that. So I guess what we need to do now is think about what we're going to build out next. Now the jetpack's not working. So, the first thing we can do is come into here, and we can go to production. We're going to need to produce ourselves. Although I don't know, maybe we have it somewhere, but it's hidden. Because we did have them before, didn't we? We had our tank. Where did we do... I don't even know what we did with our tank. I think we lost them. It's okay. We just we can make some new ones. So we go to production. Uh, we go here. We're going to make ourselves some uh, a hydrogen bottle. And also we need an oxygen bottle. If we're going to go out into space, we kind of need an oxygen bottle as well. Because once our suit runs out, now yeah, we're going to be in a bit of trouble. Looks like we have run out of some material here. So we're going to have to do something about that as well. Let's have a look at what we've got in the assembler here. So, we've got a bit of nickel here. We've got loads of gravel that we just don't need. There is loads of stone here, but we need to get that into the refinery. So, that is there. But it looks like we've hit a bit of a wall. Um, so, I'll have to figure out what's going on there and why that is not producing at the moment. So, the refinery is not working. There's no power. So it looks like at the moment, because that is draining all the power, and so is that. These two ships are draining all the power. There's not enough power to be able to charge the refinery up as well. So we're going to have to build some more power. I think that's the first thing that we talk about uh, doing. So we looked at that before. Let's, uh, let's focus on getting that built. So we can grab some steel plates. We've got enough to build everything, so it's fine. Uh, we're going to come out from this side, and I believe this is going to be where we're going to build from. Because that's going to be the opposite side to where we was here. So, so we'll build up. Now we will have the, uh, we'll get the jetpack up in a minute and we'll use that. So we'll build up so that we are at the right height. And because it's connected to the floor here for the base, it is connected. So that'll all be connected up. So we'll do that. 
That also means... So the other thing we can do here is we can come into the control panel. We can go into the base. So if we go into the, uh, the minor batteries at the moment and we just put it on auto, now things are going to start working because the minor ship doesn't need to be doing that. We will leave the spaceship on though because the spaceship uh, battery... I can find it. We don't need those to show in the terminal. Uh, we don't need any of this to show in the terminal, to be honest. None of that really needs to show in the terminal. We don't need that to show in the terminal. We don't need any of those to show in the terminal. Don't need any of that to show in the terminal. Okay. Spaceship battery is in recharge mode. Nine minutes to go. That's fine. We're going to let that charge up. But we are working now. So the refinery, again, I think the production is working. So if we look in our inventory, we've got our bottles now. They are empty, but we've got them. We've got some ice that we've bought in as well. I'm sure... Did we not? I think we've used it all up. So now... Okay. Let's have a look. Mm. We'll have to go and get some more ice anyway, so we'll go and do that. The ice is going to help us to be able to fill out our jetpack. And then also, if we're doing that, I guess for now we just want to build like a O2H2. So let's, uh, let's get that up as well. So a H2 generator. Now, we could just go and sit in that ship and that would do the job for us. Or we can just kind of attach one under here. Um, I think we can put one under here. This would work. So if I was to grind out this, that will stay connected there. That will stay connected to that. So, yeah, I think this one can go. Nothing should fall, hopefully. And we should be able to get in. Not a refinery, that is not what we wanted. Fuel critical. Yes, we know the fuel is critical. We're going to fix that right now. We're going to put that in there. Like so. And then we can build this. So, just grab the bits we need to build it. All right, so now that's built. We just need ice. Uh, where are these? So these are in the assembler. So we need to grab these out at the moment. because They're not in here. So we'll grab that. Uh, let's get rid of that stuff. We'll grab that and that. We've got them. They'll actually go into here to refill them. We have no ice at the moment, so we can't refill them. So let's go and get some ice. That's the next job we can do right now. Only problem is... Hmm. Okay. There we go. We got in. We, we got in. And actually, we've got ice in here. So we're okay. Because if we look at this ship... Hold on. No, there was ice in here. There's no ice left in here anymore. They're still on 0%. We've got a lot of magnesium in this miner. Let's just take this out at the moment. We'll take all of this out. We're going to jump out. Head down. I want to check something. No. I thought you might have been able to add magnesium to it or something, but no. 
For some reason, my H2, I think that must have been what was left over from the ice we got before. All right, so I need to dump all of this gear from here. So in here, I need to put all of this into the uh, into the cargo. So grab all of that, get it out. Make sure this is empty. So we're making magnesium powder. I actually don't know what we're going to use that for yet. Guess we'll figure that out later. All right, let's go. So what else do we have on us at the moment? We've got some magnesium ore on me. I can chuck that out as well. There's all that. We've got a lot of stone, so that's fine. Everything's refining, everything's working. All right, let's go. So we're going to detach from here. Unlocking. And we're going to go get some ice. Ice is over here. Thirty-eight minutes of battery left. Two hours of battery if we don't use any frost. Thirty minutes with frost. Uh, glide over, turn on our space brakes. Right now, remember the ice was not with everything else; it was separate. And I think we built a hole. Yeah, we did. So we built a couple of holes here, but... There's a lot of magnesium as well, and we tried to get through. So I'm going to try a new hole here. I want to see if I can get to this ice away from that magnesium. That's the magnesium, but the ice is right next to it there. Perfect. So let's just uh, dig out a little hole here. Gotta make sure we're getting the right stuff. Nice, that's what we want. All the ice. Alright, we'll get a little bit more from here. I think we probably picked up a ton of stone as well. Maybe not that much. A little bit. Not enough to worry about. Most of the ship is full. Just the last little bit here. Oh. Cool, okay. I think that's good. We can head out. I don't actually know how to get out. Alright, let's just spin around. We'll just make a big hole to go up. Perfect. I'm going to head straight forward now and get out. I know we're making loads of holes, but it's fine. And we're out. Let's head over to our Earth base. 
And that should be more than enough ice now to not only refill our spaceship, but also, because we want to refill the tanks on the spaceship, but also put enough in that we can power up our jetpacks. So we need to build better docking pads on this earth base, so we're not like sitting up in the air anymore. Starting to break already, slowing ourselves down. Right, let's get onto that dock, and then we're going to build a new docking platform. That kind of feels like we need to build like a hangar and a docking, a landing pad. So we're gonna we're gonna do that. We need to get some power as well. So we'll do the power. There's still quite a lot to do to the base here. We need to get the power up, and then we need to move the landing docks. They're the kind of things that we're gonna focus on. Getting all of these things done. So let's uh, we're gonna go that way and that way. We're in reverse now, so just need to make sure we get this right. There we go. We're locked on. Make sure we connect. And, uh, and we can recharge this. And uh, yeah, there we go. We're done. So what we're going to do now is come to here. We're going to grab some of that ice out of here that we picked up. Because we picked up a load of ice. And we're just going to stick that into there. Do the same thing here. Grab the ice. Stick it into there. And one more time, we'll do three of them. So now, in here, our bottles, O2, H2 generator is going to be full. We've got enough ice. So all we need to do is go to the uh, generator, which should be showing up there. So this is going to be base. All right, auto refill bottles should be turned on. There's no power to it at the moment. That's the problem. And that's because the minor battery is on recharge. So let's turn that off. And now this should be refilling. There we go. They're both at 100% now. I can keep a hydrogen bottle and an oxygen bottle on me if I want to. Um, I won't at the moment, but I can if I need to. And that's going to give me a lot more in terms of powering that. Why is this battery? Charge mode is auto. Doesn't have enough power. So now with spaceship battery, we're going to put that onto auto as well. And now we just we need more power. We're we're at the point now where we are just draining power too much. So that's got to be the focus. It's got to be to build more power. For that, we're going to need to build out um, some of this. So we've got the we've got our suit. So we can come up and do this now. So that's going to be two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that should be equal to that, which it looks like it is. Then we'll put these around the edge here like so. I don't think that one's going to go on there. You don't know. Maybe. Maybe it will fit. We need interior plates, so let's just head back down. Swap out these for those. Head back up. Yep, that does fit. So we'll go one, two, again as before. We'll go three, four, and then one on top. And then because we're up here, we're going to go one, Two, three, four. We're just right clicking on these. We'll come back down. Run over here. Okay. So we're going to grab all the bits that we need to be able to make this. Do the one on top first. All right, now what's really cool about this, we don't even have to go all the way back down. We can just come to here. We can grab the bits we need, and then we're back up.
And that's one finished. Do the next one. Having a jetpack just makes this so much easier now. So much easier. But we did suffer. We suffered for a lot in the start. And that's fine. And because of the gravity on the planet, we are burning through hydrogen really quickly. We've got loads of ice, so we're okay. And now it just means that we're able to be a little bit more efficient. Not waste as much time building out and parkouring. You know, you need to have fun in this game and enjoy yourself, but don't don't suffer for no reason. Because this almost feels like God mode in a way. We're just able to fly around without any worry. Build out this one. It's just the girders that we need now. Oh, I just put everything into production. So we just need these girders now. Which we need iron for. We are making stone. So in the refinery, we have enough of this. Oh, but look, we've got so much of this in here. So let's take that gravel out of there. Take the cobalt out as well. We don't need that at the moment. And we can stick that iron in that we've got. Because we have a ton of iron. Iron and nickel. Cobalt's there if we need it, but we just uh, we don't need to load it up like that. There we go. So now we've got everything we need. We can grab those parts out. Done very quickly. Finish this off. And then we've got this one as well. Alright, now we have more than enough power. More than enough power. Alright, that is... One problem fixed. Let's have a quick check and see how we're doing. So, wind turbine. 470, yep. 450, 450, 4, yep. Loads. Absolutely loads. So, we'll turn off the terminals because we don't need to see those. But if we have a look at the battery now, at the base battery, current input is 2.76. Current output is four. Wow, okay. Current output is huge. So are they... They are all connected. So we can look at all of the uh, the batteries. Uh, sorry, all the wind turbines. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Output, 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 output. All the way... Now, I am pretty sure that that is connected to there and that we connected this. But then if it was, current input is 2.76. Two point seven six doesn't feel doesn't feel like all of it. Let me just grab some steel plates. Because I don't feel like I don't feel like that battery input is two point seven six. Is that correct? Let me just check that. Is that battery on 2.76? It is. It's 2.72 now. Well, the easiest way to check this will be to remove all of this. And instead, come down here and turn off. Right. 
So if we turn off those blocks, which should be... Yeah, see, that one's off, that one's off. They're slowing down, that one's off, that one's off. So we've turned off four of those now. The green ones are still on. That one's off as well, actually. Um... Right, do you know what we're going to do? We're going to turn off all wind turbines. Turn off all wind turbines. And we're going to turn on one. Just one. And we're going to look at which one this is. So the one that we have turned on at the moment is that one on top. Okay, so top left. So as we're looking at them from this side, this is going to be... Um, this one that's on is going to be... Top left. Or just left. We'll call it left one. Alright, so we'll turn on now this one. And we'll see what we want. we'll see what one this one is. Oh, top right, there we go. So I can just float over here for a minute. So I can go in here. Okay. So this one is wind turbine. Um, right, it's one. All right, now we turn on this one. All right, so that's left. We'll call that left two. Left three. Left four. Just making sure we got them all right. I'm pretty sure that it's going to be the same and then this one's going to be left five. I'll just label this anyway because I think I'm right. There we go. So that's all of those five now turned on, which means if I look at the the battery, which is going to be the battery for the base, that is current output is 1.5. All right, so it puts out 1.5. Okay, so then if I do the rest of these, turn these on, it's going to be two, Just helps me to organize them a little bit more. Okay, so now we know that the battery is outputting. Not really that much, to be honest. It's only outputting at the moment. 2.5 point, like coming in. Now the output's only 1.7, so that's okay. But yeah, we need to we need to keep an eye on that. Because as we're running a lot of things... Uh, that is going to add up. But that's all connected there, which is nice. Nothing else we need to do. I think we might need to put two more. So we might need to put one this side and one that side and have four of these running. Um, and, and we'll just have them either side of the drill. So all four sides of the drill will have this running. Drill is still going, which is pretty damn awesome. Look at that. That's looking nice. That is looking nice. Okay, so... Things that we need to do next, I actually want to, and I know it's not important, <laughs> it really isn't, but I want to do it. I want to, I want to add it, do this, so, I kind of want to build this glass up around the edge, but I can't, I just need, I need more parts. So I can, I can keep adding the stuff that I need to do this. It's just so slow. And I think the reason for that is because I've got this canister here. So let me take the canister off for a minute. And then I should be able to load up a bit more. Oh, I need to build more. Okay. It's just the girders. I don't have enough. I should build them pretty quickly, though, to be fair. 
There you go, all done. I've got a lot of glass as well. So what I might do, I might put glass all around the outside like this. So all of this can be glass around here. And then maybe I'll just leave the middle bit as a viewing platform like that. We can look down. And this bit will all be glass. I like that. It's going to take a bit of work. Mm. The only problem at the moment is I don't have enough capacity. I feel like maybe we can probably upgrade our capacity now on our like maybe we can have a backpack or something like that, you know? So we can move more around because again it's more we've got everything we need now. But then I I guess if we do that it just becomes well we can just fly everywhere. Maybe maybe the jetpack isn't a good idea and maybe the capacity we should leave it like this because it's as painful as it is, it makes us think about better ways to do things. Because if we could just literally run around everywhere, like if we could just fly everywhere with unlimited carrying capacity, then there's no real need to engineer anything. Hmm. Things to consider. But at the same time, just doing this is kind of like, oh. But then isn't that where the ugh makes you think, hmm, is there a better way? Like we don't want to enable what are known as cheats, right? Maybe we only enable the jetpack in space and not in gravity of planet. Mm. Maybe you can only use a jetpack in zero gravity. Maybe that's a rule. Okay. Do do do. Do more. All right, should be enough. I mean, we've got so much stuff. I'm just trying to get rid of some of the um, the excess stone we've got. And the reason I'm doing this, there is a reason behind my madness. Let's go into production. Oh my god, we're making loads of these. We need more silicon or waf wafers for those. Um, also, we can do like a couple of hundred. Wow, look how quick those are getting produced. That's madness. Um, I think we can go down a little bit further. Looking at the capacity of our... So we've got two cargo assemblies, right? There's one. And there's the other. And there's not really that much in them. So if we go to our control panel and we look at our pistons. That's at 10. That's at 0. That's at 10. That's at 10. So now, I think what we can do is grab the velocity of this. We'll copy it. And I think we can add that to the velocity of this one. And this now, if we turn this block on, is going to continue to go down. And we should get that last final 10 meters down, which is that's a crazy hole. And then we have the opportunity to obviously build this back up, take off the drill. And once the drill has been taken off at that point, we can add on more pistons. So we could, if we wanted to, I think we've got four. Once these are all retracted back up, we could probably add, I think, another six. Meaning that we could go down to, well, we can go down to 100 meters of depth, which would be pretty cool. So that's the next thing that we can do. I don't think we're going to go any deeper than that, though. I don't think there's any need to, but that's pretty cool. And we want to build, like, construction going down. And then later, we can turn this into a missile solo. So this could become, like, a whole base in here where we can, like, do stuff around the edge and build down and have missile solo. And we could have a rocket, and the rocket can launch from here. That would be pretty awesome. And we could have a huge rocket in here with so many of these. Like, imagine these large cargo boxes, but imagine them in here. And imagine having, like, four of them. And imagine having like 10 stories high. Like we could have all of that and then all of the resources that we're gathering can all go into here, can be pumped down into here. And then once that's full, we could take it off to the space base and we could just have this abundance of material. Just pretty cool stuff that we can do. And we could build like a, you know, a rocket with a, with a cone and we can make the cone more pointy. 
once the drill's done, we can remove all of that. And then this could become like a hatch that opens up. We could have like a countdown. 10, 9, 8, you know. And then off we go. All the thrusters on the back of it. That'd be awesome. That's something we can build. Um, but not now. Just thinking for the future. They should just call this game the Elon Musk Simulator. Because that's effectively what it is. Right, we need more bulletproof glass, but for that we need more silicon. We could go and farm silicon. That is something we could do. We're not going to. So the next thing we're going to do um, is we're going to change over the dock. But we're not going to do that in this video. I think for now we're done. We've had a little bit of, uh, little bit of time to chill and relax. And uh, think about plans for the future. Or we can use the plates that we've got to build out these templates. So that they're all solid structures and not outlines. And then we need to start thinking about habitation. So the next thing we're going to build is pretty much going to be our... Like where's our base going to go? And I think it's going to go along here. So... We'll do the outline for that next time. We'll build out here. This is going to be our landing pads. It's going to be our hangar. Everything's going to go just here. So we'll have our hangar. We'll have our landing pads. We'll have our docks. Uh, and we need to build that out and what that looks like. So again, that's going to be tomorrow's job. That's going to be tomorrow's job. So thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed today. Glad that we got out into space. That's pretty awesome. Um, now we just need to get both of these ships down onto more of a, like the uh, the ground level onto the landing pads and make it easier for us to run around. Uh, we can remove a lot of the mess. We've done a lot of it, but there's a few more bits that we can get rid of, just make it easier for access. And then I think we start stocking up on some of these more um, uh, the, the more rare commodities. So we need to go and find silver and gold. Uh, we need to go and get some silicon. We've got enough ice. We've got enough magnesium. We've got enough iron. Um, so I think we're good there. We've got enough cobalt. So I guess we can go and explore this area. Look for some silver and gold. And that can be tomorrow's mission. Alright, thanks for joining us. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.